hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'd like to talk about testing your power bi reports so testing your power bi reports is a very important step in the power bi workflow because you have to ensure that the data that you are presenting to your target audience is correct and there's no need having a beautiful dashboard if the data or the information that you're presenting to your target audience is incorrect. So in this video, I'd like to talk about the three tests that you can perform on your Power BI reports to ensure that your data is correct. Okay, so firstly, we'll verify that the data is correctly imported into Power BI. Just some checks that you can do. Uh, secondly, we'll test the base measures. And thirdly, we'll test uh, the aggregation of the measures with uh, our dimensions. So let's get started. First test, we'll head over to Power Query Editor. So we'll click on Transform Data. Okay, so in Power Query Editor, we've already imported our data. Okay, we've done our necessary, I'm assuming that uh, you've done your necessary um, transformations and cleaning. Okay, so once all that has been done, the testing phase comes in to ensure that all the data have uh, has been correctly imported. So the first check we'll do is count uh, the number of rows that's in imported into Power BI and compare that with our source data. Okay, so for the data set that I have before me, um, it's actually a uh, Excel file. Okay, so firstly, I'll uh, verify the number of rows that's in my source query and compare that with my uh, source, my data source, which is the Excel file. So I'll just click on um, any column in my uh, source query. Okay, so when you click on any column uh, in your in your query, in your source query, okay, Power BI uh, gives you a column uh, statistics which gives you some very uh, interesting um, information here. So we've got the count, the error, the number of distinct values, uh, the minimum and the maximum, etc. Okay, so you've got some very interesting information here. Okay, and you've also got uh, the value distribution. But the information that I'd like to focus on is the number, the count of the number of rows. Okay, so this ensures that I've correctly imported um, all the necessary details or information from my uh, data source. So here I've imported 580 rows of data. Okay, I'll then go over to my data source and ensure that in my data source I also have 580 uh, rows of data. Okay, so I'll just bring that up. Okay, so this is my data source, a, an Excel file. So I'll just count the number of rows. So I'll just select uh, any column. And here, as you can see, so the number of rows that I have in my data source file is 580. Okay, so that means I've correctly imported all the necessary data from my source, from my data source, which is this Excel file, over to Power BI. So that's the first check to count the number of rows. Okay, so the next check I do is to go through and check the data values. So I just select uh, the columns and uh, Power BI also presents this value uh, distribution here. So I'm able to quickly see the values uh, in the column. So here I've got January to December. I see that it's correctly uh, displaying. Uh, in English, it's quite straightforward. We don't have uh, the accent marks and all that but if you're dealing with French uh, I mean a language like French which has a lot of uh, accent marks uh, this check is uh, quite important because we have to ensure that the uh, the accent marks or the correct characters are displayed in Power BI okay so basically you just select the column and go through uh, and verify the values uh, the data values okay so everything looks okay on my uh, in my uh, query so for that check we're all good so that completes uh, our first test okay the second test we're going to do is to test our base measures okay so what are base measures well basically base measures are the fundamental calculations that you can perform on your fact tables 
okay so for example we have uh, for our data set it's a financial uh, data set and I've identified all the base measures in yellow or highlighted the base measures in yellow so to calculate the revenue we have to sum up all the revenue groups uh, we have to calculate the cost of goods sold which is the sum of all the cost of goods sold uh, we've got the operating expenses or OPEX sum of all your operating expenses and lastly interest and tax and I've also identified the derived measures in green so the derived measures are measures that we uh, create uh, from or building upon our uh, base measures okay so that's why I put the focus on really testing the base measures because once you have uh, validated that your base measures are correct uh, you can easily uh, create other measures or your derived measures from these base measures. Okay, so let's have a look at our first base measure, revenue. So over to my data view here, I'll just select revenue, which I've already calculated. Okay, so this is my base measure. As I explained earlier, the base measures are the calculations that we perform directly on our fact tables okay so for this uh, base measure here it's calculating the sum of the amount column where my revenue or expense the my column name revenue or expense is equal uh, to revenue okay so this is a, a specific filter or specific sort of calculation that I have to pre perform on this data set because of the way uh, this data set has been uh, structured okay so this is my base measure calculation and this is the result okay I've got about 17 uh, million five hundred and fifty nine thousand eight hundred and twenty as the result okay so I'll go over to my source um, uh, data to my data source and confirm by applying the same uh, filter here or applying the same calculation in my uh, data source and I should have the same uh, result okay so over to my Excel file I'll apply the same calculation by filtering on the revenue or expense column and I'll just select revenue okay so to identify uh, all the rows uh, which are revenue and then I'll sum up the amount column okay so I see the result, I've got exactly the same result as I have in Power BI, which is $17,559,820. Okay, which is exactly what I've got in Power BI. So that means my calculation of my base measure uh, revenue is correct. Okay, so I'm going to do the same process for our cost of goods sold. Let's have a look at cost of goods sold which is exactly the same almost I mean the same pattern as uh, the revenue but this time I'm filtering by uh, cost of goods sold okay I'll apply the same uh, method here I'll just select everything remove the filter and this time I'm trying to uh, test or yeah test uh, the cost of goods sold so I'm going to filter by the cost of goods sold apply the same calculation and then sum up the amount fun, uh, the amount uh, column and I see that I have uh, six million seven hundred and eleven thousand five hundred dollars and over to Power BI I see that I have exactly the same amount so that means my cost of goods sold base measure is correct okay so I can go on and apply the same process to OPEX and interest and tax but you get the idea okay so you just apply the same calculations that you've uh, you've done in in power bi over uh, in your data source okay and you must have the same result okay so that's the process that you that i basically go through to uh, to test my base measures so once your base measures are correct uh, you can then go on to calculate or to test your derived measures so for example the gross profit it's revenue minus the cost of goods sold okay so because I've already validated my um, base measure revenue and cost of goods sold okay the calculation of gross profit will usually or will be uh, direct because it's just the revenue 
minus the cost of goods sold okay which is uh, ten million eight hundred and forty eight thousand three hundred and twenty so that uh, result is correct okay so that's how you go through to uh, validating your base measures in Power BI okay so our final test is testing the aggregation of measures with dimensions okay so firstly we'll test uh, with the date dimension I've added the revenue uh, measure so for example we'll we'll test for January okay so over to my source data so I'll basically do the same process as I did with uh, the base measures I'll compare the results uh, with my data source file so for example we'll uh, test for January okay we should have exactly one million nine hundred and forty nine uh, thousand dollars so over to my um, data source file I've applied the same uh, filters for example this is for the, the total revenue so I filtered by the revenue column and I've summed up the amount and I see that I have exactly the same uh, the same amount in my data source file okay so that means the relationship between my um, dim uh, my date dimension and my fact table is correct okay so it validates this relationship okay next up I'll do the same for uh, the dimension expense type okay so this time I've got cost of goods sold okay so once again over to our data source we're going to apply the same calculation okay I'll just remove the filters there and since it's cost of goods sold we know that we'll apply uh, the filter on the cost of goods sold the column at all get just the cost of goods sold and we sum up the amount column and we have that's the total amount okay but we want to identify for example for labor okay so let's filter once again for uh, the expense subgroup labor okay so I'll filter for labor and if I sum up the amount column I should have exactly the same amount in Power BI which is four million four hundred and ninety two thousand so that's exactly the same amount so that means the the calculation or the aggregation between uh, the expense type and my fact table is correct okay so that validates uh, this relationship here okay and I'll do likewise for the transaction type and the business line okay say for example we do for we'll uh, do this last example for the business line and we'll check for other uh, sportswear so I've all once again I've got my revenue uh, measure so over to my data source I'll apply the same calculations since I'm looking at the revenue I'll filter by the revenue um, column okay and it's for sportswear which is the business line so let's filter for sportswear applying the same calculations and I'll sum up the amount column and I should have exactly six million eight hundred and seven thousand seven hundred dollars and that's exactly the amount we have in Power BI okay so that means the aggregation between my uh, my fact table and the dimension is correct so it validates uh, the relationship between business line and the fact table okay so these are just some of the simple calculations that I've uh, tested but of course you'll go on and create other complicated calculations as well example the average uh, revenue or whatever calculations that you need to calculate and for each step I encourage you to uh, sort of test uh, the measure first so test all your measures first before moving over to uh, the visualization phase and uh, always use the the table uh, visual because it's better for you to see the actual values okay so that completes uh, the testing the three uh, different tests that uh, I'd like to show you guys in this video and thank you so much for watching uh, if you've got any questions or comments in regards to this test uh, please comment below let me know and uh, if you found this video helpful uh, give it a thumbs up comment like and share and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video